Greetings in Christ, and thank you for joining us today. We begin with our salutation and calling. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, our refuge and strength, the author of all goodness, hear the devout, prayer, devout prayers of your church, especially in times of persecution, and grant that what we ask in faith we may obtain through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we will read our introit. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my plea for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, I have fled to you for refuge. Our Old Testament text for this coming Sunday comes from Genesis chapter 50, verses 15 to 21. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, It may be that Joseph will hate us and pay us back for the evil we, have, we did to him. So they sent a message to Joseph, saying, Your father said, gave this command before he died. Say to Joseph, please forgive the transgression of your brothers and their sin, because they did evil to you. And now please forgive the transgression of, you, of the servants of God, of your father. Joseph wept when they spoke to him. His brothers also came and fell down before him and said, Behold, we are your servants. But Joseph said to them, Do not fear, for am I in the place of God? As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring to a, it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. So do not fear. I will provide for you and your little ones. That Thus he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. We don't always get to see how uh, bad things can be used for good things, but a beautiful biblical narrative that shows that, and this is what Joseph is speaking of, is the one in which kidnapping and capturing and imprisoning and selling into slavery and, and false accusations and putting into prison, these are all things that we would clearly agree are evil. But God used those evil things to put Joseph in second in command in the land of Egypt and to save not just the nation of Israel, but to save many lives from starvation. Good words from our Old Testament text. And when, uh, when we're in a place where we have the ability to love and forgive those who have offended us, would that all of us would have the same loving uh, foresight that Joseph did in forgiving those who have offended us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Help us to go forth this day, forgiving those who have wronged us, that we might share your love with others. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.